All righty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, on this one, what did I say we were going to do? I can't remember. That was uh, a while ago now. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I remember what we were going to do. Okay, we were going to um, drag... Well, I guess we could chip this stuff. Let's chip this stuff first. And then uh, we'll start filling in our hole that we created. Not that we created. Well, we did create it because we cut all the trees down. So we're going to fill this little area with uh, wood chips here. And then, uh, maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe I could pull some of that stuff out that we bunched over there too, so. Let's grab our chipper here. I'm too lazy to walk all the way over there. There we go. Let's chip up this stuff and then drive ahead and see where we end up. See how many of these get us to 100%. Oh, 98! Oh, yeah, right on the money. I thought I was going to get that little one and waste it, but 98 is a good solid number. Man, this would be an, actually a cool little spot for uh, a chip dump. I'm going to start right over kind of where these grassy, leavy deals are. Fill all this in. Kind of build ourselves a little bit of a hill here. Because you know how fast this is all going to fill up. It always looks like, oh, we got lots of room, and then five minutes later, you got like 10,000 wood chips and nowhere to put them. Yeah, been there, done that. Been there, done that. I could build a wall. We could trumpet. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall today. All right, so future reference will bring the trees pretty much right here. And then we'll be, like, literally right in our pile. I think that'll be fun. I wonder if we can cut these sideways. No, not really. It really has to be to the butt. I don't know. It's something to do with the uh, beginning of the physics, I think, that causes that. Once you get to the uh, beginning of the physics, that's when it actually wants to eat the tree. 80%. Not too bad. Maybe we'll grab these ones just to top it up. There's a couple that we knocked down over here, too. This should fill it right back up. I'm going to actually hand buck this guy right here. And buck. Bloop. There's something stuck to my mouth here. Oh, there we go. You ever get that when you're, like, working with your mouse? And uh, you just feel like something, like, it feels, like, crunchy almost underneath. Like, you must be a chunk of something under there, and you don't know what it is. Hopefully not Cheetos or anything like that. Hopefully it's something positive. Hopefully something good. Let's uh, bring this guy over here. Chop up some more stuff. There's actually a really nice loading area in here. We could use this as a landing. It's flat enough. It's open. Oops. Uh, there we go. Always looking for a good place to use the landing. I've had a lot of people commenting about getting Plow Wars back because they really liked it. I promise, I absolutely promise, I'm one day away from my weekend here, and I'm going to work on Plow Wars all weekend. That's my plan. Plow Wars all weekend. I think it'll be fun. Or it'll be devastating. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to make some crazy stuff. Okay, so let's, uh, let's grab our little skitter, which is conveniently the next thing to tab to. Haha. <laughs> right, we only cut two trees in this pile. Unacceptable. We cut like a dozen in that one. Our piles were pretty, uh, random. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to bring this into multiplayer. It's gonna happen, it's coming, don't you worry. Yeah, I kinda realize you don't really need the locking belts on it. It does hold pretty well. As long as you're not going through too crazy of terrain, like if you're doing some really nuts stuff, then they can jiggle out of there and fall, I'm sure. But it holds pretty darn good and I haven't had any problems. Multiplayer hasn't been tested, so I mean, anything can happen in multiplayer. Always an adventure, right? 
I don't know. Just keep trying it out and see where we end up. That's uh, pretty much all you can do, so. Uh, all this way for two logs. Whoops, that's almost unacceptable. Man, I don't know why I get so drunk when I back up with this keyboard. I almost, I think I need to buy a wheel again, honestly. I, I just want like a little wheel. Just a teeny weeny little wheel. That's it. Just for turning around, kind of analog style. That'd be so cool. It's got, it gotta exist. Somebody post me a link in the comments or tell me about a tiny wheel. Like the little guy that can sit in the corner of your desk and drive it around. Then again, I'm so used to using my uh, WASD key for driving equipment like this that I'd probably end up neglecting it anyway. I have no idea how much of this I can take in one grab, but we're going to find out. Pull ahead a little here. Pull back a little bit. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, will it go? Oh, no. It's too much. That's not bad, though, right? Our front end's just, like, raising right off the ground. It's like, I don't like this, man. Oh, we're going to lose that one at the bottom. Can we make it? I doubt it, but we'll try. Oh, we didn't lose it. That's amazing. Oh, there we go. Now we lost them. At least we lost them there and not, like, halfway. I think, you like, maximum, you want to fill this thing so that it can at least get to that point to close. Then it's pretty happy. But when you have, like, a huge gap in the load like that, it doesn't really like that so much. So it would seem. So, like, if we do just these four, I'm pretty sure it'll be happy. You have to kind of, like, especially when you're doing them with this kind of skitter, you really got to butt them up nicely. Or at least nicer than what I just did. There we go, like, right about there. See, like, these should be solid. See, when you get a good grip like that, and you're still able to close the claw all the way, you can usually get a really good turn, and they stay in there pretty decently. And, you know, the more the merrier. I'm almost wondering if I should increase the distance on that grapple, uh, like, the, the, how far the claw sits from the back end of the skitter. Or maybe shorten the tail a bit. That, that might be something to do, too. Just to bring that shield in a bit more. So that we got a little bit more swing distance. All things to think about, right? Oh, easy boy. Down, buddy. There we go. There we go. And drop. Alright, we got time for probably one more, one more turn. And then we can keep adding to our uh, never-ending chip piles. These are cool. It's actually really fun doing this uh, kind of, it's just different, you know. You, you get used to just doing the kind of same pattern over and over and over, log, log, log. Doing some chipping and stuff. I, I'm going to start uh, probably introducing some newer machines for chipping here too. I don't know if we'll do it. Uh, maybe in 2019 we'll actually make our own, but... I might try some other people's stuff here. So everybody keeps saying, try other people's mods. I'm like, no, I make my own mods. <laughs> oh no, oh no! We lost them. Oh, we had a pretty good grip there, but... There we go, now we got them. Oh, we lost a couple there. Oh well, what do you do? Hey, you can't be perfect all the time. And now we get this nice big pile for the chipper to come in here and clean up. To turn into millions of chips so that we can start uh, filling up that lakeside. 
And I think we're uh, getting pretty close to filling that lake side up with the amount that we have here. Just got to actually move it all. Could take a little while. So I'm going to end it here. When we come back, we'll probably maybe start uh, cleaning up these piles again and chip and throw and, you know, just follow the process. So it should be good. Uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And in, if you're in the bush, don't forget to, what is it? Hug a tree. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.